Joining us now to talk about Trump and the immigration plan is Marco Antonio Rahil, a political contributor to the Huffington Post, and GOP strategist John Thomas. So no doubt this weekend, Trump seemingly started to try to reach out a little bit more to African-American voters, to also Latino voters. But is the cake baked already here, or does he have an opportunity here to really pivot and change the minds of those minority voters, Marco? I, I mean, I think as a, as a Latino, I think he's desperate. Obviously, he's reaching out. He's seeing a landslide, and uh, he's doing something that he probably should have done from, from the beginning. But the problem is, as a, as a Latino, as an immigrant myself, I, I can believe him because he keeps saying different things all the time. There's, there's this video of Trump versus Trump going online where he's saying all the opposite things on every single issue. And, and it worries me that a guy that is, that is not capable of getting feedback, that gets angry at any reporter that asks a question that is a little bit, a little bit questioning himself, gets immediately aggressive. I cannot trust a guy who's emotionally so unstable. Okay, you say desperate, but he has new campaign leaders. Yeah. So is he now reigning in his message? Is he gearing up for this general election against Hillary Clinton, John? Well, a lot of the, the things that concern Marco concern me, but those mm -hmm. same concerns concern me about Hillary Clinton. Mm -hmm. The fact that she has a temper too, and that's why she doesn't hasn't held a press conference in almost 300 days. She doesn't have to face those questions. The fact that she's flip-flopped on her emails, she's lied to the American public, even the director of the FBI. I can't trust her for the very same reasons, except she jeopardized national security but in the process. Let's talk about this new campaign team, because they're speaking out now more. He had this meeting this weekend with his Hispanic advisors. Is he reigning in his message, John? Yeah, I think he's going to clarify his his uh, position on immigration because logistically it's impossible. You couldn't deport 11 million people. I think where he's going to end up evolving to is we're going to look at people with criminal records that aren't citizens and figure out a way to get them out of the country. That's probably where he's going to end up. But the, the, if we're talking about this on election day, it's not a winning strategy. The winning strategy is for Donald Trump to make this race about Hillary Clinton. And she's having a summer of problems as we go through more of her emails. What Donald Trump has been saying is, what do you have to lose? He says, if you look, you're a minority, <laughs> if you're an African-American, you live, many live in poverty, schools are failing. Uh, for, for Hispanics, the immigration really over the yeah. past uh, four years, you know, Obama was was called the deporter in chief. Yeah. So he says, what do you have to lose? The, the, the past eight years haven't worked for you. Why not try and take a chance on us? Well, something I think that he as an entrepreneur should do, and I think I have a lot of Republican friends, he should show his tax returns. That's, that's something I cannot understand. He himself said, if I'm running for president, I'll show my tax returns. I want to know the guy. I want to know what charities he gives money to. I want to know mm -hmm. what's his strategy. I, why? I mean, if I want to get a refinance from my home, I have to show my tax returns. If I want to date someone and marry her, I have to show my tax returns. Why, why is he right. releasing and that? Hillary would, Clinton should release her Wall Street transcripts because I want to know why somebody paid $230,000 for a speech. What I, is so good about those and returns? Agree. And I agree with that. I'm a, I was a Bernie supporter. <laughs> And that's what Bernie said all the time. I was going to say, you almost sound like Bernie Sanders. <laughs> <laughs> Bernie, come back. <laughs> all right, guys, uh, speaking to a crowd in Ohio just a few minutes ago, Donald Trump called on Hillary Clinton to shut down the Clinton Foundation. Her foundation took in large payments from major corporations and wealthy individuals, foreign and domestic, and all the while, she was Secretary of State. The Clinton Foundation accepted as much as $60 million from Middle Eastern countries that oppress women, gays, and people of different faiths. Well, he says shut down the, the Clinton Foundation now. The Clinton uh, it's teams is essentially saying it's going to take some time to do this because we have to really get this, you know, the ball rolling. But we'll do it once yeah. She is president, if well, she is president. Well, we could agree that we should get all big money out of politics on both parties. No super PACs, just like Bernie did it, you know, like individual donations. We could agree on that. And I agree on, 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 on transparency and clarity for, for both parties. I want the U.S. that comes together. I don't want a U.S. that is so polarized that we're yeah, fighting but, but, against but each other. That's, that's distracting from the issue. The issue yeah. is that the Clintons took tens of millions of dollars from foreign governments that allow terrorism to grow, that hate gays and kill women. And somehow that's not okay when she's the president, mm -hmm. but it was okay when she was Secretary of State. It's that mm -hmm. double standard that I think upset so many Americans. And that's right? why I want to see the returns of uh, tax returns from Trump because I want to see who he is supporting. Is he supporting the KKK or you know who is he with? <laughs> He's a mystery. He says one thing and the next day he says the other. Let thing. me just say this: you guys have hit on a lot of topics. Yeah. We need like an hour with you two. Come back. Yes. Uh, we want to 
talk about uh, Marco's uh, event that's going on. He's collaborated with Mayor Garcetti to launch the 2016 Startup Business Expo. There's an event this Saturday at East LA College in Monterey Park. It's from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Uh, go to startupla.com for more information, but you're essentially telling yeah. Entrepreneurial people who yeah. are in the Latino community or minority communities. Latinos, Asians, African American. We're teaching them how to think as an entrepreneur so they can open their business. Mm -hmm. Mayor Garcetti and his team is doing a big effort on getting minorities to open their own business. But right. the first thing you have to learn is how to think as an entrepreneur, right. how to be responsible for yourself. Like an entrepreneur. Yeah. John, always Great. thank you for coming in. Thanks, guys.